morning, St. John's class. Are you ready for slam down? Let's go. Mm. A. S. D. T. E. Mm. P. G. should be very very proud of yourself because I'm very proud of you. Now today we are going to learn another brand new sound. Let me hear you say ooh. Right now I'm going to say the sound first. Are you ready? My turn, your turn. My turn. Uh, uh, uh. Excellent. Well done. Fred, have you got any words that have got the uh sound in? You have. <gasps> Are you ready for the first one? Ooh. G, uh, or G, uh, or girl. Point to a girl in your family. Well done. Next one. B, uh, d. you flap your wings like a bird? <gasps> what kind of bird are you? I'm going to be a parrot, I think. Really big wings. It's for parrot. <gasps> the next one. Uh, d. Uh, d. Third. Oh, what does third mean? If you were in a running race and you came third, it doesn't mean you came first. First is number one. Second is number two. Third is number three. If you came third place, you came number three. Okay, well done. Next one. Wuh, uh, or. Wuh, uh, or. Whirl. Whirl is a bit like a whirlpool and it spins round and round and round. T, wuh, uh, or. T, wuh, uh, or. Oh, well done. Yeah, wow, well, it's a bit like a twirl. You spin round and round and round. And last one. Oh, I know you like to play in this. The d, uh, t, d, uh, t, dirt. You all love digging really big holes in the dirt. I know you do. Well done. Now, let's have a look at the picture side of our card. Here we have got. Ooh, this could be a dance teacher, maybe, with a little girl and a little boy. And it looks like they are whirling and twirling. So when we see this side of the card, we say whirl and twirl. Whirl and twirl. Can you give me your best whirl and twirl for me? Spin it round and round and round as fast as you can, whirling and twirling. Ooh, you're making me feel very dizzy. Sit back down. Okay, so when you see this side, you are going to say whirl and twirl. Whirl and twirl. Well done. Now, would you like to see what the uh, sound looks like? Are you ready? Three. Two. One. <gasps> Take a picture of the air sound with your cameras. And cameras away. What do you notice about 
about this sound. It's a digraph, isn't it? It's two letters, one sound. Two letters, an I and an R are making the one er uh, sound, okay? So when you see this side, you're going to say er. Uh, and when you see this side, you are going to say whirl and twirl. Are you ready? I'm going to trick you. Ready, steady. Uh, whirl and twirl. Whirl and twirl. Uh, uh, whirl and twirl. Uh, where done? What sound is it? Ah, uh, fantastic. Give yourselves a firework after three. One, two, three. Whoosh! Bop, 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 bop. Ah. Uh, right, now I have got some of my green word cards with the er uh sound on, okay? So, we'll do the first one together, okay? Then I want you to use Fred in your head, okay? Remember, we use Fred in our head so that we can read with fluency. That means that we get to start reading a bit quicker and quicker and quicker without having to sound out, okay? And that makes us into superstar readers. So that's something that we really need to practice on, okay? Especially in those e-books. If you tell your mummies and daddies, I'll ask them to look onto Dojo. I've put a link where there's some fantastic e-books and some of them are the same ones we have in school, okay? Are you ready? But, uh, Okay, so I'm going to stamp it in my head. Bird. Bird. Well done. Your turn for the next one. Third. Well done. If you came third, you came in number three place. Okay, like in a running race. Perhaps you could have a running race with the people who live in your house and you can see who comes first. Who comes second? And who comes third? Okay. Last one. Girl, well done. Oh, got a couple more. Do that one again. Twirl, twirl around like a dancer. <laughs> and the last one. Dirt, can we all dig a big hole in the dirt? Dig a big hole. <gasps> Don't fall down your hole. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, can you all write down the er sound? I'm going to show you it for two seconds and then I want you to write it down. So, are you ready? Magnet eyes. <gasps> two. <gasps> write it down. Write down the er sound. Uh, what two letters make that one uh sound? Mm. And show me your boards in three, in two, in one. Show me your work. Oh, the uh sound is an I and an R. We use the letter names, okay? So the letter is I and R, but the sound it makes all together because it's a digraph, is a, uh, a, uh, well done. Right, let's have a go at writing the word bird. Bird, flap your wings like a bird again for me. Oh, sorry, Fred, I nearly knocked you over. Bird, let's think. B, uh, d. <gasps> there are three sounds in the word bird. Show me your three, Fred fingers, three, two, one, whoosh. Make sure you tickle your nose so they're right in front of your face. And your stamping finger, kapow! My turn. B, uh, d. Your turn. B, uh, d. Write it down. So, b. <gasps> now make sure it's a b, b boot and not a d, d dinosaur. Down the laces to the heel and over the toe. B, uh, B, uh, d. <gasps> d. 
make sure this is a d -d dinosaur, not a b b boot. Oh, it's very confusing, isn't it? Are you ready? B uh, d show me your work. And three. And two. And one. Show me your board. If you got the b sound, give yourself a tick. If you got the er uh sound, I'll be super duper impressed. Give yourself a really big tick. And if you got the d sound, give yourself a tick. If you didn't, don't worry, write it down now. Bird, b, uh, d. Fantastic. Right, the next word, and I want you to have a go at doing it all on your own this time. Remember to use your Fred fingers, okay? It might be three sounds, it might be four. I want you to have a go at doing this all on your own. So that's how we become independent writers. We're not asking me to do it. We're not asking mummies to do it or daddies to do it or big brothers or sisters to do it. It's for you to do it, okay? Can you write down the word girl, girl? Think about the sounds. Write it down. Pause the video if you need a little bit more time. That's absolutely fine. And show me a board in three, two, one. Woohoo! If you got the g sound round the girl's face down her hair and give it a curl, give yourself a tick. If you got the er uh sound, give yourself a really big tick. And if you got the or uh sound down the long leg, give yourself a tick. Well done. Let's do one more word. Um, actually, let's write a sentence. We're going to write the sentence, I dig in the mud. Oh, that, that's not right, is it? I dig in the dirt. <laughs> Silly me. I dig in the dirt. I dig in the dirt. I, this is going to be a capital letter. Dig in the dirt. I dig in the dirt. Have a go at writing it down all on your own, okay? I, I's just a capital I, I. Then you need a finger space. Dig, we can all write dig, use your sounds, and use your thread fingers. Then another finger space, I dig in. Finger space, I dig in the, <gasps> tricky word, the, T-H-E spells that. I hope you're listening to the Tricky Word song every day. I dig in the dirt. Dirt, not mud. Dirt. Dirt. And three, two, one. Show me your sentence. <gasps> Let's have a look then. Have you got I? I's just a capital E. I dig. D, ig, dig, in, in, tricky word, the, and then dirt, d, at, dirt, I finished, I have got my capital letter, haven't I, I have got my finger spaces, and have I got my full stop, uh oh, I forgot my full stop, oh, I better add it in now, now I've got my full stop, I dig, in the dirt. I dig in the dirt. You have to dig in the dirt if you plant your vegetables outside, don't you? If you plant the seeds, you have to dig in the dirt first. Well done. See you later, St John's class.